Israel. And that situation was totally preventable on both sides. And I'm going to be honest. Both of them are wrong. But there's one that's that's way more wrong than the other one. And I'll explain. ISUPK was... That's ISUPK's camp spot. And you should respect another camp's camp spot. At least, like, teach down the street or something. Teach somewhere else. But don't teach right in front of them. Uh, especially when you got some glaring-ass speakers. And they pointed their speakers towards... ISUPK. Now, before somebody asks me, how the fuck do I know this, that, and the third, I was on a clubhouse where Tazariak was present, one of the brothers that was actually there was present, and one of the brothers that was actually called, because he's head of one of um, ISUPK, of the ISUPK camps in the Midwest, was on the phone. He, he actually, one of the brothers that was there when it was taking place, called that brother. That's, I will say, UPK lives up to their standard of not being no fucking cowards. You know, they, they are definitely, bro, four dudes against like 30. And dudes was throwing blows. Like, they was throwing punches and shit. Um, IUIC is honestly becoming the new comfy. You know, they're, 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 they're bullies. How do you set up in somebody else's camp spot? You know, I remember when they were trying to set up the, the Nork IUIC. They were uh, they were downtown Newark, you know, and, and I spoke to them and I told them who I was with. First thing they, they started doing is bashing the elders, saying, oh, I got videos. Why the fuck do you have all these videos? Like, that's not something you brag about. Oh, I have a, a video where the elders said raping little girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, bro, y'all niggas is bugging. But anyway... I want, of course, you know, we have to let the scripture speak. So I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, and Shalom to the elect. Before I go into this video, um, there has been controversy surrounding the IUIC, IHPK. Um, I kind of wish I didn't do the video. I mean, but in a sense, you know, it's the spirit of the Lord. So the Lord says to do something, you do it in a hope you reach the elect. And that's what we push. Because all, you know, I tend to see on the video is each side coming against the other and it's just become a you know a ball of confusion and we're not about confusion now there's there was uh, some IUIC members who was listening in and following videos that I've done and various other brothers who follow IUIC you got to remember you got Israelites all over following swaying in the different doctrines and maybe this video or the video that I did on the IUIC IHPK is really going to separate the real from the fake because we don't need all those views. I'm just being honest. We don't need those views. And now I'm doing regular videos and some of them IUIC followers that used to listen to our videos are now starting to scoff because we do videos on IUIC. You know, Isaiah 58 and 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet and shoo my people their transgressions that's also going into your Israelites right as long as everybody go along get along no accountability is held you can do what you want nobody's uh, holding themselves responsible this is what it is but if this was GMS you know how it is like the man and woman if the man commits a crime he gets you know hard nosed the woman does it well, they give a slap on the wrist. And this is what always happens. Whenever Great Millstone, you see something. And this brother, I'm going to get into this now because the brother said that um, um, that they were talking about the elders with the rape thing. Well, so was ISUPK. Was, and so was ISUPK with this thing with the um, who went to Pittsburgh and did that with those brothers as well. So they don't get no slap on the wrist. Galatians 4.16 
right? And again, this is going to some of those brothers that of IUIC, you know, we know you watch our videos, but it's to hope in the hopes that you would convert, right? And come off that high time show of a man rolling in on a horse. And the general who claims himself to be like the most high. I mean, he's not saying it, but they saying if it ain't of general Yohan, it's not of the truth. Galatians 4 and 16, have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And that's why a lot of people are getting offended. They just, I don't even look at the comments anymore. That's why I don't try to do those particular type videos. I don't even look at the comments. Israel loves controversy. And it's always trash talking, right? Now, if these Israelites claim they loved everybody, it was all about love and brethren get together and you know, we need to unitize, then you would you would accept responsibility, right? You know, it's kind of like a, a fight that came on uh, that I was watching with Devin Haney and Lomachenko. And if, you view, if you're voting for a particular fighter in his close, you're going to sway to that fighter. It's just what it is. A lot of people can't step back and say, Hey, I, I, I see he's my favorite, but, yeah, he was wrong. Examine thyself to see if thou is in the faith, you know? So another thing I don't agree with the brother, he, the brother's on point. I think this brother's GMS Men of Valor. Uh, I don't remember the video. Apostle Tahar re-uploaded it. Um, saying that they were truly no cowards, you know? And I don't really agree with that. They, maybe they're not. I don't think all of us to go out and teach the way we do. We, you know, the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, right? But for, if you got four guys, four brothers, and it's 30 brothers, then maybe you need to reevaluate yourself. The scripture says in Ecclesiastes, I believe 12, um, a living dog is better than a dead lion. I believe it's somewhere in Ecclesiastes. So it's the thing about being smart, you know? It's about using wisdom, discernment, and just be wise. As Matthew 10 and 16 says, be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves. So now I'm not going to touch too much on that, but either way, either one of those groups could have said, well, you know, it's all the white man's block. <laughs> or really it's all the Lord's. So there's enough. He says, go out to the highways with an S and the hedges with an S. There's so many different places any one of them could go. But this wasn't about the Israelites. This was more about ego. This is more about pride. And I just don't like my brother. Now, they all say, slandered us and say we're rapists. And we, uh, I think IUIC said we are rapists of six-year-olds. But then I do videos like this on IUIC. And then all the, the simps for IUIC who says all praises to Bishop Nathaniel. That's what they're saying. I did a video on that, right? They will not hold this man accountable for his actions. So these guys are like Babylonian women that get to do and say and do all these things that they do. If you ask me, I think all of them is a spinoff of the ICGC or the Comfy School. Bishop Nathaniel on a higher level, I will say that. But General Yohanna, too, he's doing the same thing to a degree. You know? It's a lot of things these groups got wrong. Right? So, let me give an example. I said this in another video, but it got cut off. So, this is John 8. This is called Before Abraham Was I Am. And I'm going to get to the point. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and has a devil? With a question mark. Yahweh answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and you do honor, you do honor me. So they looking at him like, who is this man? You know, he's like the bully, right? I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. And I'm just saying that that's how they're looking at it, Right? And, and this is the spirit of Israel. I mean, we're fighting. The scripture says the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. So it's not going to be like the brother did say. It's not going to be P 
peaches and cream, as they say. You know, it will be scuffles and skirmishes. You know, we had this in ancient time, man. You know, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now, um, now we know that thou has a devil. Abraham is dead, and a prophet, and thou sayest, If a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste death. So they're not understanding what he's saying, right? So I'm going to jump to 56 just to get to the point. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, right? And he saw it and was glad. Then said to the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet 50 years old, and hast thou seen Abraham, right? So this reminds me of what Sakari said about the apostles, right? Um, or whatever, you know, they even did a response and everybody's trying to do cleanup work. You know, it's just inexcusable. Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones and cast it at him. But Jesus, Yahweh hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. So it's all right. You know, you, you know, I think a lot of it is as I said, pride and ego. It's all right before it gets to a skirmish or a scuffle. And maybe these guys, these brothers, they it permits. Maybe it's the 501c3 thing. I don't know. With GMS, Great Millstone, we're free from all of that. So we don't need permits in, to stand and, and set up, you know, speakers and, and preach. I'm not saying that, you know, the elders of the past, haven't done that our elders and teachers in the past haven't done that but this is a new season this is another season now so all we have to do is is as john 16 says in the spirit of truth come in he will guide you meaning in motion to to know to, to all truth yeah uh, i think john says we have an unction which means an anointing to know all things so that's the mindset we should be in this scuffle that, that had nothing to do with doctrine, but it had everything to do with pride and ego. And as I said, the brother was on point with most of what he said. I just didn't agree with it. Was they they considered not cowards because it was for them against thirty. I kind of make you foolish. <laughs> At least in this season, with the way everything is going down, we we're not in the time of that. We supposed to prophesy and reach the elect. And that's the difference between these guys and us. We're reaching the elect. We're trying to reach the elect. These are trying these guys are trying these brothers are trying to reach black people. Wake up a nation of people. Fix black people. That's all I have on that, Shalom.